morning students today we are going to introduce unit one what's in a name so please open your booklet page one to introduce the new words the first word is the first name first name means the name that people used to call to you it's your name for example when i say my name is ahmed so my first name is Ahmed. Surname, surname also means last name or the name that you share with other people in your family. Okay, surname also means family name, which is the name that you share with other members of your family or it also means last name. So pay attention that surname means family name or last name or second name. Okay, surname, family name, second name, last name, they have the same meaning, which is the name that you share with other people in your family. The next word is middle name. Middle name is a name that comes after your first name and before your family name. For example, when I say my name is Ahmed Muhammad Mustafa, so my first name is Ahmed, middle name Muhammad and Mustafa is my family name. The next word is named after. Named after means to be given the same name as, for example, your father or your mother. It also means named for. Pay attention that named after is used in the United Kingdom, but named for is used in the United States. But they have the same meaning. For example, uh, she was uh, named after her grandmother. It means that she was given the same name as her grandmother. Middle name. A woman's middle name is the family name she has before she gets married. So pay attention again. Middle name is or a woman's middle name is the family name. As we said before, family name means the name that you share with other people in your family. So it's the name that uh, she shares with other people in her family and the middle name the woman has before she gets married. Again, a middle name is the family name she has before she gets married. Double paralleled name is a family name with two joined parts, such as Harvey Jones. Okay, the double paralleled name, the woman uses it after she got married. Ethnic, ethnic means connected with or typical of a particular race or religion. For example, ethnic food, ethnic music, or ethnic clothes. The next word is diversity. Diversity means the wide variety of something, cultural and ethnic diversity. Lathe, a machine that shapes pieces of wood or metal by holding and turning them against a fixed cutting tool. Turner, someone who works on a lathe. Cooper, someone who makes barrels. Immigration officer, someone who checks your passport at the airport. Affect. Affect is a verb means to influence somebody or something. Pay attention, affect is a verb. The noun is effect. Take care means to be careful or pay attention. Ancestry means all of a person's ancestors, all of a person's grandfathers. Supervise, which is the last word for today, means to watch somebody or something to make sure that work is being done properly. Okay, supervise means to watch somebody or something to make sure that work is being done in a correct way. Now let's move to the grammar structure. The grammar in this unit is about auxiliary verbs in place of clothes. We can use pronouns in order to avoid repeating a noun or a noun phrase. For example, when I say the baby's grandparents, it shows the baby's name, but they are not always there when it is for. Here we use the pronoun they in order to avoid repeating the baby's grandparents. 
In a similar way, auxiliary verbs like verb to be, verb to have, verb to do, can, and other auxiliary verbs may be used in several structures to avoid repeating the clauses. For example, my grandparents promised to choose my name, but they didn't. Here it means that they didn't choose my name. There are common structures where we find auxiliary verbs used in this way, like in short answers. For example, when I say, have you eaten yet? No, I haven't. It means that I haven't eaten yet. Also with so and neither. So in positive sentences and neither in negative sentences. For example, my name is John, so is mine. Here we have a positive sentence. My name is John. So we are going to use so. So is followed by an auxiliary verb. You have to look at the verb in the first sentence. We will find my name is. Is, which is verb to be. So we are going to use verb to be, which is am or is or are. Here we are talking about mine, my name. So we are going to say so is mine. Number two, the teacher has left the class, so have the students. The teacher has left the class, a positive sentence. So we are going to use so. Then you have to look at the verb in the first sentence, has left. It's a verb in the present perfect. So you are going to use have or has. Here we are talking about the students, so we must say so have the students. Dad will travel to London next week, so will I. We are going to participate in the competition, so am I. My sister didn't visit the pyramids last year, neither did I. Pay attention, my sister didn't visit. Here we have a negative form, so we are going to use neither. Then look at the verb didn't visit, a verb in the past simple tense, so we use did, neither did I. Islam hasn't eaten his breakfast yet, neither have his parents, because we have hasn't eaten, a verb in the present perfect. The passengers weren't very frightened during the storm, neither was the pilot. The tourists haven't taken any photos, neither has the guide. Please correct it in your pocket. Okay, here we have a verb in the present perfect. The tourists haven't taken. So we have to say, neither has the guide. Now let's move to the passive voice. The form of the passive voice object plus to be plus the past participle. We use the passive to describe actions when we don't know who does or did the action. For example, my briefcase was stolen last night. I don't know who stole it. So we use the passive. Number two, when it's not important to know who does or did the action. For example, the cars are taken to Europe every week. It doesn't matter who takes them. Now let's remember the passive by reading these sentences and explaining them. Number one, Sarah cleans her room every morning in order to change into passive, you have to begin with the object. So we start with Sarah's room. Then you have to look at the verb. Sarah cleans. Cleans is a verb in the present simple tense. So we use am or is or are plus past participle. Here we are talking about Sarah's room. So we are going to use is. Sarah's room is cleaned every morning by her. Number two. We flew our kites last Monday. So we start with the object, which is our kites. Here we have a verb in the past simple tense. So we are going to use was or were plus BB. Our kites were flown by us last Monday. Number three, they have designed many models. Many models, we look at the verb, have designed a verb in the present perfect tense. So we have to use have or has plus pen plus BB. Many models have pen designed. 
Number four, I will type this report tonight. Will type a verb in the future. So the passive will be will be plus VB. This night will be typed, uh, sorry, this report will be typed tonight. Number five, the children are playing computer games, are playing, present continuous. So we are going to use am or is or are plus being plus BB. Computer games are being played. Number six, the mechanic had repaired my car, had repaired, past perfect. So we are going to use had been plus BB. My car had been repaired. Number seven, the students were decorating the class, were decorating, past continuous. So we are going to use was or were plus being plus BB. The class was being decorated. Number eight, she is going to buy two tickets tonight. Going to is followed by B plus BB. Okay, so the answer will be two tickets are going to be bought. Now, let's move to page 7 in order to practice what we have said. Choose the correct answer. Number 1. Victorian houses was where R is usually painted in dark colors. Victorian houses are. Okay, present. Simple, passive. Number 2. The hound has killed has been killed, have killed, have been killed, members of the Baskerville family. The hound has killed. Because the hound here is the subject. Number three. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's stories is paced by people all over the world. Are known. Present simple passive. Number four. A new Sherlock Holmes film is or are being is being made by a British company is being made present continuous passive number five two men broke into the house and the television and the computer and took number six don't worry, I'll help you and so well, my father. A sentence, a positive sentence, so we are going to use so. Number seven, Jane hasn't depend to the new desk yet. Neither have I. Number eight, she doesn't like tea, neither does she. Now it changes the following sentences into passive. Number one, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle invented Sherlock Holmes. As we said before, to change into passive, you have to start with the object. So, Sherlock Holmes, you have to look at the verb, invented, a verb in the past sample. So we are going to use was or were plus BB. Sherlock Holmes was invented by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Number two, millions of Sherlock Holmes fans have visited it. It has been visited by millions of Sherlock Holmes fans. Number three, Sherlock Holmes and Watson solved hundreds of crimes. Hundreds of crimes were solved by Sherlock Holmes and Watson. Uh, number four, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote the Sherlock Holmes stories. The Sherlock Holmes stories were written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Number five, they built the house in Baker Street in 1815. The house was built by them. You can write it or omit it. Both are right in Baker Street in 1815. The next question, change into active. Number one, the house itself, which is protected by the government, was built in 1815. 
the government protects the house which they built in 1815. In order to change into active, you have to start with the subject. Number two, some people believe that the cure was based on a doctor. They based the cure on a doctor. Number three, we can't go up to the third floor today because it is being decorated. We can't go up to the third floor today because they are decorating it. Number four, Holmes' stories have been read by millions of people. Millions of people have read Holmes' stories. Number five, my flat will be painted next week by my friend. My friend will paint my flat next week. Thank you for today. Tomorrow, inshallah, we will continue the, uh, the lessons or the units. Goodbye.